Hi guys and welcome to this guitardomination.net video. In this lesson we're going to learn the outside in pattern. That's a Travis picking pattern. It's a really really cool one and very very common as well. It sounds great. Travis picking is the art of alternating bass notes and changing your bass notes with your thumb while playing picking patterns on the melody strings, on the treble strings. Okay, don't worry that doesn't make too much sense. I'll explain as we go. First of all, before I show you the real world play along example, I'm going to play it on a C chord, and then a G chord, and a D chord. To play it on a C chord, we start with a thumb on the root note, so on the A string, then middle finger on the B string, thumb changes to the D string, this is the Travis picking part, the alternating thumb, and then index finger on the G string. So we've got. So, it's A, B, D, G are the strings that we pluck. So, thumb on the A, middle on the B, thumb on the D, and index on the G. So it's always thumb, finger, thumb, finger. That's another big part of Travis picking. Okay, that's half a bar there, so all we need to do to play a full bar is play that twice. That's a full bar there. Start off really slow and relax your fingers. Make sure there's not too much tension in, not like a claw, otherwise you'll, you'll pick the strings really hard and things will go crazy and it'll just sound a bit mad. I want to be nice and relaxed. Grow the fingernails a little bit on this picking hand and you'll be fine. Don't worry about speed, speed will come with a little bit of practice get some nice sounds out of it at fast speeds, but Travis picking sounds great slowly as well. That's a C chord, but a G chord, exactly the same, all we do is change our bass note to the low E string. Okay, so it's low E, B, D, G. For the D chord then, You may notice I'm doing something slightly different there. We've only got four strings on a D chord. Uh, so what do we do there? Well, we've only got one bass note, and that's the D string itself. So what we do with a D chord, with finger picking, we commonly treat the G string as an extra bass note. It just means everything that we've done before, we get shifted up. So our thumb deals with the D and the G strings. Our index finger deals with the B. Our middle finger deals with the high E. It's very common. So you don't actually use your ring finger for picking a lot of D chords, which is you know something to get used to. But you can if you like, but it's it's usually a little bit easier to play it with uh, a thumb index and middle. So the pattern on a D chord for this one will look like root, high E string with the middle finger, G string with the thumb. B string with the index. And that's how it looks on a D chord. Like I said, it might take some getting used to if you've never Travis picked before and if you've never switched your fingers up and down. You can look at the D chord as exactly the same as the fingers you do on a C chord, but everything is just moved up a string. So instead of it being 5 and 2, it's now 4 and 1. And then everything that you pick exactly the same. Look at the tab and you'll see what I mean. So a C chord, a D chord, same thing, just shifted one string higher. Okay, so that's how we play this Travis picking pattern on the C, G, and D chords. Now we're going to look at the real world play along example for this Travis picking pattern. We're going to start with a C chord. It's going to sound like that. Then we're going to switch to a G slash B chord. Okay, it's a little bit unusual. You don't know what a slash chord is. The left of the slash means a chord, then you get the slash, then you get the right of the slash, and that's your bass note. So a slash chord is where your root note is no longer your bass note. So for this G chord, instead of a G being the bass note, it's a B as the bass note. 
Okay? And it looks like this is very common with finger picking. You wouldn't strum it because you'd need to have that other finger there on the high E string. And it would look very similar to a G. But we'd just have that low E string. But anyway, in this example, use your pinky to play the third fret of the B string and your middle finger to play the second fret of the A string. Okay, so it's the pattern from the C to the G slash B and then to the A minor uh, A sus 2 which is A minor without the first finger do that for half a bar and then add your first finger back on to make it an A minor again and then strum you can use your first finger, your thumb or you can do a little big pinch with all the fingers whatever's easiest there Okay, so, and you repeat the whole lot. Let's play it through from the beginning. Okay, and just let that A minor chord ring out like it's fading off into the distance, kind of like some cowboy or something. I don't know. Just that little sorrowful ending that you always need in a song. Yeah, like the end of a film, like the Hulk when he just goes off. Anyway, I'm going off on one there. Right, so that there is the Travis picking pattern of the outside in pattern. Have some fun with that one. It's a really cool pattern. And um, I'm just thinking about the Hulk still. Great. Um, have some fun with that pattern. Really, really cool. Master it. Practice it slowly. Build up the speed. Get some really cool little sounds out of it. But take your time. I've showed you this pattern as a slow example. Have a listen to the audio examples, play along with it. It's slow on purpose so you get the right habits. Once you've got the right habit and the right muscle memory with this picking hand, then you can build the speed. Have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.